Hey, Lad, man, y'all already know what time it is. 2K has dropped the video uh, with Pro Play, man. We're going to talk about all of that in one second, man. Some people saying it's cool. We got the eyes from Joe Knows. Hey, we got Solo saying, let's go. We got Jordan over Draymond. Hey, is it a W or L? I think it's a W. Hey, look, they say this isn't gameplay. We know it ain't gameplay. It is clean, excellent, all that. We're going to talk about all that in one second. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Alice! And it, hey, like I said, man, nobody told y'all this today, man. Y'all my peoples, my family. I love each and every last one of y'all. Also, my partner, man, he hit me up at the gym yesterday, man. Told me, you know, he had some, yeah, he going through some stuff, man. Let's keep my guy, let's keep him lifted up, you know, with, with good thoughts and stuff like that. And uh, last but not least, check this out, man. Get your tees in a breeze when you rocking with breeze tees, man. Look, express on yourself. We got a thick and tired for your girls. We got that truly blessed for the women, the tarot card, all this stuff, man. We got this, I work out so I can eat garbage. Got plenty of stuff. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. Locked. I'm locked up. They won't let me out. Hey, we got that. Hey, hey, we got the uh, Lockdown University. We got new versions of all this stuff coming. And if you think everything there is complete and utter garbage, it's fine. Go check. Hey, put your, get your own design. Put it up somewhere. Put it on the shirt. I put it on there for you. And if you don't like shirts, we got hats. We got everything, man. So make sure y'all check that out. Link is down in the description. Orders get out normally one or two days, depending on how difficult it is for me to get your design straightened out. But anyway, 2K dropped this joint, man. And uh, we just gonna go through it, man. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk through it while we're going through it because the music is going. It does look authentic. It says powered by Pro Play, and it said, "Look at that bully. That bully is bite." So we know that ain't going nowhere. So they're saying the game that you play is powered by the game that you watch. Hopefully they don't try to. Yeah, see the game you play. Powered by the game you watch. This is gonna be a super dope thing, man, because I want to see them. Like I think where 2K is going with this, man, and it is like. Look, you're going to see a lot of step backs. You're going to see a lot of things like that, man. And I think that that's going to be the main way that you're going to have to score and stuff. That might be why they were pushing the Sim Nation stuff so hard. Like anytime somebody dropped something with the Sim Nation look, they were they were, they were were on it. They was on it hard. That might be the way that you're going to have to play the game going forward. It may not be any more of the Zoom Zoom or any of that stuff. And it could just be that they don't have the right dribble sigs and stuff like that. Obviously, we can't tell anything from this because it's not the, you know, it's not pure gameplay. But... It's just one of those things where we can take a look and it's, you know, it is kind of refreshing just to see what it is. You know, you got the three, you got Giannis going to the rim. Will you be able to bully, bully and dunk on somebody? Do they need a T.O. baby? You know, Bankhead bounce on them a little bit. The strip from Villain Brooks, my, my new favorite player in the league. Hey, Austin Reeves. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you got Donovan Mitchell with the, with the, ooh, look at that Euro. Looking like, looking like Jay Tay. Hey, look at the double cross pull up. Drank, y'all know I might be going back to that. And oh, look at Aaron go ahead and come over the top and get that. He said, like, we can see what the future is like, man. And you got the Kane dunking on them boys, man. Hey, NBA 2K, man, listen. All of it looks good, but how does it play? Like, that's the thing that I think that most people are worried about. How is it going to translate to the game? How is it going to play? How is it going to be for us? And we got a lot of those answers right here in the blog, and we're going to go straight through it, man. I just said a new era of authenticity uh, arise on the on the next gen. We're just going to go through this as quickly as possible. I, I know we already saw the video. You know, we already saw, saw a, a lot of this stuff, the intuitive offense and all that. We're going to talk about all of this. Hopefully, I can get through this super quick, man. Um, we just talk about the stuff that we really care about because you see they got the intuitive offense. I don't know if we're going to really talk about that. Shot time, we will talk about that. Duncan, paint play, all this stuff we'll talk about. I guess we got to talk about everything, man. Let's just get, let's, we, we'll, oh man. We, I guess we just got to go through it as fast as we can, man. Um, uh, here we go. The next generation of groundbreaking realism and authenticity arrives in NBA 2K24 on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X console via Pro Play. Check out the latest from NBA 2K gameplay developer Mike Wong to get a glimpse at what's to come. Each year, NBA 2K takes a step forward, uh, delivering first class results using a motion capture, but Pro Play propels the franchise even further with cutting edge technology to directly translate moves, movement from MB real NBA games into NBA. NBA 2K24 making a historic achievement in sports uh, in sports gaming. We've we've directed NBA athletes for 20 years on how to recreate signature moves via mocap, but we have but but 
Now we can provide the truest form of the of contested step backs, acrobatic layups, and more by translating actual NBA footage. This year you'll see and feel the difference in shots, free throws, off ball, offense, and defense. That's what they're saying. Um, it's present throughout the game. Uh, it's present throughout the game for for new gen consoles. If you're if you're if you've ever imagined practicing, this is one of these talking about if you ever played ball by yourself and it's, it's way different shooting a shot by yourself than it is over there. I'm trying to summarize this stuff, man. That MoCap has excelled uh, at, <laughs> at getting NBA 2K to the point of bringing players closer to NBA, real NBA action than ever before and will continue to serve a an uh, important role, but pro play swaps the unnatural technology. See, that's what they're trying to get rid of, the unnatural stuff. The unnatural technology for peak performance in natural and intense environment. The shot motions, uh, anytime the player is moving off the ball around the court, dribbling, rebound, block passes, and free throws feel different in NBA 2K24 New Gen uh, because they've been captured from real time scenarios. Previous iterations of NBA 2K featured a variety of dribble packages and unique jump shots, but capturing, con capturing contorting athletic layups under the basket or ankle breaking step backs to create. Why they, why they, they, they concentrate on step backs, aren't they? Ankle breaking step backs to create separation from a lockdown defender in a pivotal moment of a game has been. Uh, hasn't been possible to this degree. So they show, you know, the Kevin Durant. It's a appropriate technology generates authentic movement that can only be made made by some of the uh, some of our favorite players. For example, students of the game and avid fans uh, will recognize Kevin Durant's unique jump shot and free throw form, Steph Curry's explosive dribble moves, and a, and an array of off dribble jumpers. Nikola Jokic's Jokic Jokic. I can't even say say that three times fast. Method, a uh, methodical movement. Hey, is that a that a cool way of saying slow and a uh, feathery touch around the rim and the list and the list goes on. Pro play makes the game look and feel more believable and reduces the amount of uh, the amount of breaks in authenticity. I'm cool with that. New animations. Uh, every every aspect of the game receives an a, an added layer of realism. This is visible in every moment and iteration. Uh, here are some of the new animations that we got. Pretty much what they're saying. Jump shots, dunks, layups, dribble moves. Ooh, I know the boy gonna be scared about that. Everybody panicking. Dribble moves, pass animations. Hey, we, we really don't care. Uh, pass animations and signature movement. Offense and defense. Zar said it normally takes three years to get something right. So they mentioned the defensive movement, signature movement, the defensive stances and stuff like that three years ago. So maybe they got it right after three years and they had to implement this technology and able to do it. While the primary action, while the primary action certainly uh, benefits the ultra realistic tech, they aren't, they aren't the only areas you'll notice. Casual inbound passes and other, we they need to fix the inbounds. I ain't gonna lie about that though. You shouldn't be able to just, just stack up around and take advantage of a flaw in the game. But hey, I digress. It's that casual inbound passes and uh, otherwise unremarkable motions that are, that aren't a priority during mocap have now been scanned, <laughs> scanned to cover even the most minute details. The totality of the uh, movements results in the, it results entirely new level of uh, legitimacy pro play has has allowed us to transition from manufacturing uh actions to fully immersing to fully immersing immersing you in the entire nba experience from the uh, jump ball to the final whistle pro play delivers an immersive and authentic game on nba 2 i mean on new gen while the gameplay enhancements we we've uh, across the consoles, we have across the consoles, the NBA 2K provide an elevated experience for everyone. And then it just says, when it comes to offense, shooting, dribbling and all that, uh, and intuitive and intuitive, therefore enabling player, bro, we don't care about that shot time. this is what we talking about right here. This is what we want to know about. Uh, players who players who play on Hall of Fame difficulty in the wreck or in the wreck or in the city will be playing with green or miss shot timing for the ultimate uh for the ultimate challenge so if you play in record city it's green or miss that's we back to that it, it, that's confirmed green or miss is back but team control based game up uh, modes like quick play my nba and my team will see a more forgiving shot time and so you won't have to memorize every single player's release to the exact frame to be successful so that's cool that means we got different sliders for different types of games you got to be able to read between the lines man i like that i'm liking what i'm hearing so maybe you have parker be on a different difficulty than wreck uh, you know we got different sliders for different games that might be something with the modulinness that we had the shot time and release the shot time and release 
time setting for NBA 2K23 has been converted to a new setting called shot time, uh, shot timing, casual, uh, shot timing visual cue. Now, instead of, of time based, you can set your desired release point uh, based on the certain animation cues. That's going to be dope. So like if I wanted to be here at the chest or at the head or wherever, I can do that. Like I like for it to be behind the head sometimes. That's going to be dope. It says I uh, like the jumper to set to a point, uh, set point or shot release. This makes it much easier to play the play with players and teams you're not familiar with. So that's going to be dope. That's going to be in my team too, where you'll be able to do that or whatever. So that'd be cool. Layup time it is now owned by default and, and has also been redesigned to be much more forgiving for uh, for easy finishes around the rim. Y'all remember the first when they had made the layup time in, uh, in 21 next year and it was so hard. People just smoking stuff. So we just turned it off. Uh, hopefully we won't have to do that but say you'll find the advantage you'll find the advanced layups like floaters reverses euros hop steps and scoops are now are now more effective uh this year and great tools to have as a slasher hey maybe it's gonna be like y'all mindset man we're not gonna be ducking everything no more maybe we're gonna be laying it up that's gonna laze it up laze it up hey i'm with it hey the more realistic the gameplay can get the more the, hey i'm for it so i don't care because back in the day we used to be like bro everything's a dunk or a, or a three pointer and that's not authentic basketball so if they're going to bring us more authentic basketball it's cool let me see for the dunkers on new gen uh new gen consoles you can you can now force controllable rim hangs from any two-handed dunk uh by simply keeping the uh keeping the sprint trigger held when you when the dunker grabs the rim okay so any dunk you don't have to just hold down now uh see down uh down on the pro stick will give you the flashy dunks to get the crowd hype and up and up down up down uh up down and down up on the dribble uh um, or the double you know what i'm saying uh throws the double throws will let you contempt, attempt contact now so they got that back and then it says meter dunks are green or miss on higher difficulty levels so you so you have to be precise to finish off the play good no more of that late slightly late uh, hella late and they still was getting it so that's dope bigs are going to have a lot of fun dominating the paint uh this is the paint play uh in nba 2k24 you can now branch off of any offensive re branch out of any offensive rebound to uh to make a put oh so if i get a board i can just throw it back up there if i see that it's open okay that's gonna be dope uh brute gonna love that for a put back attempt uh, by simply pressing the shoot button after you catch it. So you can just go right back up with it. I remember that in like inside drive and stuff, you could do stuff like that, but uh, but I digress, you know, I like it. Post phase and hop shots are are also really effective shots for uh, for post players. Strength and, and weight can definitely be felt in the paint as, as uh, high rated glass cleaners can easily grab boards over smaller players and finish those easy second chance points. Hey, right, let's see what Mike's talking about right here. We're gonna see what he's saying in the in the dribbling diaries, man. Let's see what he, see what see what Mike's talking about. Okay, well, we don't care about that. What, what Mike here? What where's Mike? But in order to get high percentage shots, you need here we to go. various modes. Difficult shooting has been customized and improved for all various modes, difficulties, right. and player skill levels. But in order to get high percentage shots, you need to know how to create separation off the dribble. Bit. One of my favorite elements in NBA 2K24 is the dribble breakdowns. Each player okay. has two versions. Regular breakdowns are done by flicking up on the right analog stick, mm -hmm. and aggressive breakdowns are done by flicking up with sprint held. This will initiate a sequence of signature size up moves that you can use to create separation with on their own, or branch out of at any time for an explosive drive or other dribble move combo. This year features all new signature double crosses, hezi crosses, and escape moves. Another major addition is the blowout dribble. Tapping the sprint trigger while moving will give you a quick burst of speed where the ball handler pushes the ball ahead to get out quickly on the break. Okay. In the front court, tapping sprint will give you a quick change of pace to quickly blow by defenders. Adrenaline boosts are back, but have been redesigned to make both offense and defense more skill-based. Okay. On offense, boosts are no longer lost when pulling off dribble combos or moving short distances. This gives dribblers much more freedom to That's create off the anyway, no. But boosts will disappear every time the on-ball defender can bump the ball handler on a drive attempt. Losing mm -hmm. adrenaline won't feel like moving in mud bump. like last year, but it will heavily impact shooting attributes. So Woo. if a good defender can bump the dribbler two or three times in a single possession, they'll have a really tough time scoring if they do manage to get free. Creating your own shot off... Y'all didn't hear what he said, but I'm going to tell y'all what he just said. He said that if I get a good bump on you, you're gonna lose an adrenaline. 
So if I bump you three times and get good three bumps, a good three bumps on you, so I can take your adrenaline, not just not just you can lose it by if you go, but if I get a good bump, it takes it from you. So that's going to be crazy. So if I bump you three times, you bump that cat three times, bro, it's going to be like he's shooting with, 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 like, it's not going to be like this year where your adrenaline was gone and you can just shoot the ball. And you can still shoot it as long as you got full uh, stamina. He's saying that it's going to take, so yeah, that's going to be crazy. Isn't the only way to get good shots. Knowing how to operate away from the ball is just as important. NBA 2K24 features new right analog stick jukes and other quick explosive moves right. to free yourself up for a shot. Tapping the sprint trigger will also give you a huge burst of speed to find open spots on the floor for spot up jumpers or easy rim runs for dunks. I'm talking about the rim run, man. Defense and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. I right. can't wait for you to experience the ultra realistic gameplay in NBA 2K24. Pull up. Right. All right, so pretty much that's what he was saying right there. And he just kind of broke that down, man. Just said, as soon as it's been customized and, and improved for all various modes or whatever, we talked about that. One one of the gameplay directors, Mike Wong, said what his favorite element is the dribble breakdowns. He just talked about all of that. Each each of the player, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this this year's uh, dribble system features uh, dribble combos, including signature double crosses and hesitation crosses from standstill uh, or while moving. With pro play or new, on new gen, your favorite ball handler feel of uh, feel your favorite favorite ball handlers feel more explosive than ever before with the unique combos and uh, signature moves uh, another major addition to the dribble in arsenal is the blowout dribble tapping the sprint trigger while moving will give you uh will give you a quick burst of, of speed while the ball handler pushes the ball ahead like when you just, you know what i'm saying like like will avery used to do when they get out on their break and they'll throw it out there will avery should throw that joint out there like he used to throw that bitch out there like 10 feet in front of him and run it down and stuff like that, man. It's crazy, man. But uh, yeah, so that's that's what it's going to be. Uh, but the ball handler pushes the ball ahead to get quickly in the transition into the front court. The same mechanic can be used uh, for a quick change of pace, uh, you know, to quickly blow by. Adrenaline boost. Adrenaline boost are back. He, he just talked about that. I think he just talked about all this. I don't need to say that stuff. But he said, but this is the main thing I wanted y'all to know. On offense, boosts are, are no longer lost while pulling off dribble combos or moving short distances giving the elite ball handlers much more freedom so hey it's easy all right much you'll be happy on that he can do all his moves you know what i'm saying they can do the dribble stuff but if you get bumped I, I i can i think that's a good i think that that's a very good compromise because if you're getting bumped over and over you should be losing your adrenaline so i i, I can deal with that you can you can speed boost you can dribble you can do your fakes and stuff like that but if the guy beats you to the spot or what have you you're gonna lose one of your dudes but that boost will disappear every time a ball handler uh, uh the own ball defender can bump the ball handler or drop or on a drive attempt the cost of losing the adrenaline is different this year uh different this year well instead instead of dramatically slowing the ball handler's movement losing the adrenaline will heavily impact shooting attributes which that's the way it should be you shouldn't be out of adrenaline and just be able to just pull up and drink so it says so if you're a good defender can clamp the ball handler uh down and bump them two or three times in a single possession they uh they have they have a really tough time scoring uh in the if they manage to get free and i mean even if you get so even if they give you one adrenaline back you still might have to use that to get open then you're still not going to be able to shoot so it's going to be crazy man let's see what mike talking about the skill based defense though we know I, I guess we don't have to go through that because when they're talking about it he's pretty much talking about it so i'm not going to go back through it he's talking about mike has improved on many fronts with better responsiveness and less sliding this helps Ooh, defenders get where they need to be, and with the improved body up system, ball handlers will have a tough time getting free against great defenders. Improved the improved body contact up. can also be felt in the paint. Big defensive anchors will have a much easier time putting a body on shooters at the rim and forcing tough shots. Directional steals are also back. You need to reach with the correct hand closest to the ball and avoid reaching across the body to maximize success and avoid foul calls. Bro! That's what we've been talking about since 2K17. Somebody asked me about that the other day. Like, didn't you used to be able to choose which hand you wanted to reach, reach with or whatever? Now defense can be skill-based again where it's not just you're just hitting X. So if that guy is, is reaching it with, with the right hand or you really got it right hand that's on his hip and he hits the button, you know, he hits the right the right arm or whatever, you're going to lose that rock. You hey, I'm with that. directional steals to play passing lanes by flicking the right stick in the correct direction Ooh. to get your hand in the way and deflect the pass. 
And when it comes to contesting shots, Lame. it's important to be patient and wait for the correct time to jump. Right. If you're behind the shooter, jumping too early, biting on fakes, or closing out late, you'll quickly find yourself racking up fouls and giving up and one opportunities. All that stuff that Black Cobra be doing, bro, and they be talking about it, it ain't viable. Yeah, y'all better watch out for Cobra this year. He was already drawing fouls Everything and it ain't even that offense, easy to draw fouls. Defense and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra realistic gameplay in NBA 2K24. Hey, I'm with that, man. Let's talk about this takeover, man. I think that's all we got, man, because coach with ease, we're not going to worry about that, the freelance and the subs. We don't care about that. We're going to talk about this young takeover, and then we're going to get up out of here. Let's get it, Mike. Takeover returns to NBA 2K24, but with a different spin. Instead okay. of assigning a takeover ability as part of the build process, now you can choose a category of attributes to boost on the fly. When you fill up the takeover meter, you can choose between finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense rebounding, or physicals. If you delay your takeover and fill up double takeover, you can choose two different categories of ratings to boost, making you a true threat on both ends of the that is so dope because sometimes I'll be playing a game and it's like I'm not getting that many shots and like I'm but I am having to play defense and so I want my defensive takeover this game instead of like it's like on the fly you're gonna be able to do it and I, I might come back and just break these videos down myself man but you're gonna be able to do so much stuff as far as this goes let's go and it's gonna be dope because sometimes I want my defensive takeover uh more than you know it's a shifty guard out there and I need extreme clamps, or I need the shot, the shot, um, you know, the, the extreme uh, shot contest. But then there's other times I don't need any of that, and I just need to shoot because this team is trash. So that's gonna be dope, man, to be able to do that. You know, that ring. about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra realistic gameplay in NBA 2K20. Hey, and that's where we at with it, man. We gonna, we gonna, we're not gonna worry about the rest of that stuff, man. That's what we got. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video, man. This joint been long enough. Um, like I said, we went through everything that they had for us. Make sure you stop by Breeze Tees. Link down in the description. Get yourself a shirt, man. Get your tees in the Breeze when you're rocking with Breeze Tees. Do your, uh, you know, your custom stuff, man. Whatever y'all want to do. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. Guys, speak.